Okay, so this is five things a good zombies player does in Call of Duty Zombies. So number five is knowing how to play the game. That's pretty obvious. Is um, say your eyes and draw the game I'm playing right now. Um, so you have to know how to do the bows. That's the first thing. You don't want to be like, oh, I pick the lightning bow and not know how to do it. So that is one thing you have to know how to play the game. That's really all I got to say for that. Um. Um, yeah, you have to know how to train, you have to know how to camp, you have to know how to do lots, that's how you know you're good. Um, I, I know how to camp really good. <laughs> I know how to train really good, so. Um, number four is, is having enough points to get jug or pack punch. So you want to have enough points to do whatever. So when you die, you have money to do stuff. And when you respawn back in, you can buy jug or your guns and stuff. Um, number three is not buying doors that don't help you. So say in Keynote or Toten, there is a door on the stage. That if you open, you're dead. There's no way you can survive because there's always somebody training there. You're just dead. You're dead. So say, uh, like, you're, say you're training there. Just training, going around in circles. Zombies are going to be coming at you, slapping at you. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> um, they're just going to be slapping and slapping and slapping. Oh crap! Got to get a shield. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they're just going to be. They're just going to be slapping you and slapping you and slapping you. That is it. And, um, <laughs> number two is being able to play with other people. So, you want to be able to revive them. That should be your goal next time you play with four people is reviving them, staying with them, helping them. You don't. You want to help them get points, not just steal a bunch of points and stuff, or else nobody wants to play with you. Um, so yeah, you want to try to revive them, you want to try to help them. That should be your main goal when you're playing with, in multiplayer. If you're in solo, well, you don't have to worry about that stuff. So you want to try, it's not about, it's not about who gets the most kills, or who least on downs, it's just, you have to play together. Um... Like me as a prestige master, lots of people like say I'm, I'm good and stuff and they rely on me to revive them and stuff. So, because I have like lots of Phoenix ups and stuff. Um, that's just what happens when you get a higher level. Even when you're like prestige 7 and you're playing with like prestige 1s, they're sort of relying on you to do that stuff. And number one is is uh oh yeah don't be a noob okay don't be a noob kind of what i said at the start say you're on origins and you call the lightning staff well you gotta know how to do it if you don't know how to do it well then don't worry you're not a noob you just suck just kidding i was just <laughs> um yeah, don't be a noob. You want to? Yeah. So say I'm a noob. Hey guys, I'm a, I'm gonna train right over here. Oh no, I'm gonna die. Ah. Uh, see, you don't you see right there? I did. I'm just pretending I was a noob and I almost died. See, you have to know how to train. Same thing with camping. You have to know how to train. I mean, you have to know how to camp. I'm sorry, but you have to know how to camp. If you like, that's pretty easy. You just have to get the right amount of guns. And that is it on 